I made Simplicity 9273 and I want to show you just how it turned out in case you want to make one too. Be sure to like this video so other people will see it, subscribe, and click the bell if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I've been making t-shirts like crazy lately and I am excited to share the good, bad, and ugly of this one with you. Simplicity describes this pattern as a knit top with a scoop neck and options for gathered, pleated, and cap sleeves. I made view B, that's the same one the model is wearing. All of the views are the same, like through the bodice and neckline, except for the sleeve. The version I made has the sleeve with the shoulder gathers and the armband with gathers. Fit-wise, I originally cut a larger size for my hip, but I ended up taking out that ease so I could have a closer fit at the hem. Looking back on this, I might have been a little bit overzealous as it's a wee bit tight right now. It kind of rides up, especially in the back. Not a huge problem, but something that I did want to point out. If you look back at the pattern cover, you can see that the model's version does kind of stand away from her body a little bit with like a couple of inches of wearing ease, or I'm sorry, design ease at the hem. I thought the gathers at the shoulder and armband were very simple to execute. When you make this though, I want you to pay attention um, to the gathers and make sure that they are um, evenly distributed, especially at their stopping and starting points. You can see that the one on my left arm is creating this kind of very big and very noticeable fold. That's all a result of the gathers being too gathered in one area and sort of spread out in another. For the fabric, I used a Jersey modal blend from Stylemaker Fabrics. This is the same knit I used to make my Love Notions Classic Tee. It is pretty pricey, I know, but it's extra wide, and so I was able to cut this entire top out of one yard of fabric, which is especially impressive considering how wide the sleeve piece is. I justify this to myself also by saying that I would pay $19 or $20 for a really nice, well-made, well-fitting t-shirt in Banana Republic or somewhere else, so why wouldn't I do it whenever I'm sewing? <laughs> uh, truthfully though, I will pay $19 a yard for this fabric over and over again because it's just that good. It has the perfect amount of stretch and drape for a t-shirt, great recovery too, and just feels so amazing with that modal rayon blended in. Not to mention, it comes in so many different colors. I made this top out of the color called Orchid, but which color should I get next? Blush, rose, or chocolate? Leave your vote in the comments. So some things I love about this t-shirt are the sleeve design, obviously, but also the neckline. It's not too high, not too low, it's not too wide, not too narrow, it's like perfect. Um, and the neckband sewed in nice and easy with the perfect amount of negative ease so the band lays nice and flat against my body. There's not much that I hate about this pattern, but if I had to pick something, I'd say the design is at the hip. Grading out of the hip was too loose, going down a size is too small. It's just a little bit of extra brain power that I have to use to figure that one out to get the perfect fit. Um, not that it can't be done, not that it's super difficult, it's just one little extra thing I have to think about. And as I said before, just look out that your gathers are nice and even across the span of the gathering area on your shoulder. If anything, they should be more tightly gathered on top of your shoulder, but try and get them as even as possible so that you avoid any like egregious folds like I have. If you want to learn some of my favorite tips for sewing garments like this one, download my Ultimate Garment Sewing Guide of Guides. It includes seven different sewing guides all in one, and it's totally free. I have it linked for you in the description box. And if you like to see what I've made, I post a video just like this one every Monday reviewing a different pattern and modeling uh, the make for you. I've linked last Monday's video for you, which reviews the Made for Mermaids Alana dress. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.